Thanks for watching the OneSignal email DNS authentication video. In this video, we'll go over how to successfully add your domain's DNS records to a DNS management service like Cloudflare. In your email configuration page, you'll have your DNS records that you can copy over to your DNS management service. Here, I'll be using Cloudflare. You can see I'm setting the text record, the host name, and I'm copying over the value in the content field. I'll go ahead and save this record, and now I have the first text record. I'll go ahead and continue to copy and paste the rest of the records over, making sure I use the correct type. Here, you can see I'm using the text type again. I have the host name, which is mail.onesignaldemo.com, and I also have the value, which is in the content field. Save the record, and now I have both text records. One thing to keep in mind is that when adding your CNAME record, make sure the proxy status is turned off. That will ensure the record propagates properly. Let's continue to add the rest of the records. It's important to make sure all records have been added properly. Each record type is responsible for something different. The top text records are responsible for sending email from your domain through OneSignal to the recipient. The two CNAME records underneath are related to the DKIM, which uses an encrypted key to verify the domain's sender authenticity. Next, you'll see the MX records, which are responsible for receiving email. If you don't receive emails to this domain, you'll want to have the MX records set up as best practice. You also may already have MX records for your sending domain, pointing to the server where you receive email. If this is true, then you should ignore the MX records we provide and keep the ones you have. The last record on the page is the CNAME, which is responsible for tracking opens, clicks, and unsubscribes. For additional information on DNS record types, please see our OneSignal documentation. Great, all of our records are added. Let's check if they've propagated. This might not work the first time you check the records, but usually it takes some time for the records to show up. Give us some time and make sure that everything is added correctly. Looks like everything's been added, so we have some green check marks to show us that all the records are authenticated. You should now be ready to start sending email. Reach out to our support team to get verified and let us know if you have any other questions.